here. I am back on the Oregon coast. Uh, this will be my first surf session back from Costa Rica, um, or since Costa Rica. And I apologize in advance, this is gonna be a long intro, so if you don't care what I have to say about my most recent experience in Costa Rica, then just go ahead and skip forward to the surfing. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, what I learned there. If you guys watched the vlog recently, Jimmy and I spent uh, a week at Witches Rock Surf Camp in Tamarindo, Costa Rica, doing the intermediate program. Um, and this is the second time I've done it. And a couple of things that I learned that maybe will help you guys, maybe it won't, but um, number one, Before I came down there um, for the program, my surfing was frantic. When I would paddle for a wave, I would just immediately be frantically trying to catch it. And my coach, Oscar, shout out to Oscar at Witches Rock Surf Camp, he saw me the first couple of days and was like, Melanie, why do you why do you surf so crazy? You look crazy. You need to calm down. Calm down. Breathe through your nose. And then, you know, catch the weight. You need to calm down. And <laughs> sorry, Oscar. And um, you know, I listened to him and instead of frantically paddling for a wave, I tried to calm down, breathe in through my nose and out. And, um, you know, and then immediately after implementing that, I was catching more waves. So, number one thing I learned, I need to calm down <laughs> when surfing. Uh, because paddling frantically, realizing that, you know, my, my paddle technique just went down if I paddled frantically like that. So that was number one. I learned to calm down. Number two, which I'm sure many of you guys already know this, but as you're paddling for a wave, you should be looking where you want to go. And finally, after I calmed down with my paddling, I was looking where I wanted to go and I started immediately going down the line, like every single time. If you're having that issue where you're not looking down the line as you're popping up, maybe you're like me, you're paddling frantically, just calm down and then maybe you'll catch that wave and go down the line. So that's the second thing um, that I finally figured out while I was there. And then lastly, um, I've always had a fear of big waves. I like my small waves no more than, you know, four feet. Um, but my last day there, you know, I, I wanted to try and get something bigger. And I've seen this quote so many times on Instagram. I have a friend, Sterling, shout out to Sterling, who um, always says, if you don't go, you never know. And so on my last day, I was thinking to myself, I haven't gotten any big waves. I just need to try and go for it. And then just, and then otherwise I'll never know. So my very last wave i saw a set that was bigger than what i typically like but it looked nice and so right before i was like if i don't go i'm never gonna know so i went for it and it was the biggest wave of my life um insert clip here up winning biggest wave uh, for that ride and I don't know if I can ever you know replicate that um, you know I'll try but again it's all in the mind it's all it was all in the mind for me um, I just got to get over that fear of big waves and I did that one day so for those of you who are scared um, if you don't go you never know so go for it <laughs> 
So anyway, that's uh, my takeaway from Costa Rica. Um, things I figured out afterwards that I need to work on, which I'm going to try and practice today. Um, my turning was not good. And after speaking with uh, my shaper, Lanny Schuler, um, you know, I definitely need to put my foot further back on the board. So I'm gonna try to do that today. And then also putting my weight, you know, more weight on the back foot as I'm trying to turn. So those are the things that I'm gonna work on today. Um, he also gave me another board to demo, so I might try that one first. So there won't be any, um, any footage of that one. And then I'm gonna swap the fins on that one back onto my, you know, regular Mod Cosmo. So anyway, I'll see you guys after I swap out the boards. I think it's gonna be a good day. Okay, so quick update on the board that Schuler let me demo. It's basically my same purple Mod Cosmo, just about six inches, six, about six inches shorter and not quite as wide. Um, so it felt good paddling on it. It felt pretty stable. Um, and there were a few waves that I tried to catch, but I think maybe today's wave side just wasn't appropriate for it. It's like two to three feet out right now. So maybe if it were a little bit of a bigger day, um, I could have caught something, but I'm at the point where I, I just want to catch some waves. So I'm going to swap to my own board and throw the fins on there and then work on my turn. Ugh, it's so cold, I can't even talk. And then work on my turn to that one. So I'm going to go ahead and swap right now. So this right here is the demo board and I'm going to swap the fins into this one. Okay, change of plans again. So I was trying to remove the fins off of the Schuler demo board, but I think that screw is stripped. So I've had to resort to getting my other fins and I'm realizing they're much bigger than the ones that he wanted me to try. But alas, this is what we have. We're gonna make the best of it. I'm gonna go catch some freaking waves. So, see you guys out in the water. recap on my surf session today. I did try out the other Schuler board that was like mine but six inches shorter. Um, it felt good but I don't think today was the right day for that board. I think I needed a bigger day in order to ride that board properly. And then I was trying to swap out the fins from that board to mine and I think one of the screws were stripped. That's okay. Good thing I brought my back set. And then um, with still a little rusty on my purple Mod Cosmo, and then finally just started getting in the groove. Caught a couple of waves. I did put my back foot, I think, 
further back and more pressure, so the turns felt better. Um, the rides weren't great, but I do feel better about applying pressure on that back foot. So, um, didn't catch the prettiest waves today. I didn't expect to. I never catch real, any really good waves after I've come back from Costa Rica, but um, it was a good learning experience, and um, I don't know when I'm gonna surf again. I really wanna surf again, but the drive here was just really sketch when it's cold and then the ground starts to freeze, I, I just don't like it. So I don't know when the next uh, surf vlog will be. Hopefully it won't be too long, but if I don't see you guys for a while, then I'll see you guys in the next vlog whenever that is. But um, overall, it was a great surf day. Can't beat anything like a sunny day in the Pacific Northwest. Take care guys, bye.